Good afternoon, Talia. Welcome to today's session. Uh, now, this will be a coaching session on how to make outbound calls via radar, a complaints database. Mm -hmm. So, you've been here at the TO for about three weeks now. Yes. And lodging online forms. That's right. Now, you would have come across uh, scenarios where uh, consumers lodged a complaint. Yes. And we've written to them because we don't have enough information. So mm -hmm. you've sent them an information request. Mm -hmm. So what our preference is, once you've had time to understand the sort of questions that we would ask the consumer, yes. what we would prefer um, in, in all instances is that you first call the consumer mm -hmm. as a first option, yeah? Yes. So today's purpose will be opening up a complaint in radar Mm -hmm. and then making an outbound call, which I'll take you through the steps to do so, okay? okay. Yeah. So do you have any questions? No, at this point. Okay, thank you. So by the end of the training session, you'll be able to create, complete, mm -hmm. and make a call log, mm -hmm. a closer call log, call the consumer using desktop, mm -hmm. and that's our email and phone system. Yeah. Um, so at this point of time, you've just been receiving emails, not making calls or receiving That's calls. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And complete required privacy verification when contacting the consumer. Mm -hmm. Now it's important that we do that because we need to make sure we're speaking to the right consumer, otherwise we're breaching privacy regulation. Okay. So why do we create a call log? So, so the reasons we created a call log, sorry, I'll go to the next step, is we're noting our attempt mm -hmm. to call the consumer or provider, yeah. so the telecommunication provider, mm -hmm. and then we confirm in writing that we have contacted them as well. So mm -hmm. there's a record of that so contact. So we've got a record of that communication. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. So within the call log, we also know the reason that we're calling them. So, uh, for example, just to say we can't get through to the consumer, mm -hmm. and then another early resolution officer picks up the complaint, yeah. they want to understand why you're calling the consumer. Yeah. So it's important you have the uh, information, so maybe the questions you were going to ask the consumer. Because mm -hmm. often if you call them and they're unable to pick up, they will call back, but they'll mm -hmm. get a different inquiry early resolution officer, mm -hmm. yeah? All right. Um, and it also creates um, a, a historical uh, recording of anything that's happened on the complaint. Mm -hmm. So there'll be the original uh, complaint notes, mm -hmm. there'll be the call, outbound call that you made, mm -hmm. the reasons why, and so when the consumer calls back, Mm -hmm. the early resolution officer who picks up that call will understand why you called them, what information we need. They don't have to go through the whole yep. complaint. Yep. Okay. Um, once we have finished the call and finalised the call log, these notes are saved and attached to the matter. And this is now a record of your call within the Actions Maintenance tab which we'll look at within radar itself, mm -hmm. okay? Yep. Good. So setting up the call log, there are mm -hmm. two options to create a call log. So firstly, I'll take you through the steps here, mm -hmm. and then we can do it Try on the laptop here. Yeah. Yep. So option one in radar is to right-click in the My Call Logs area and select New Outgoing. Mm -hmm. So for this exercise, we can just quickly go through this. Mm -hmm. um, you won't be using this method, mm -hmm. okay? Because there's a, a already a, an outbound call button you can just click on that will open for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just show you what it looks like though. So as you can see here in the top right hand corner, in the My Call Logs window, you can right mouse click, mm -hmm. pick new outgoing, and a call log will mm -hmm. appear. Right. So there's the complaint, mm -hmm. and this is what you've been working on. Mm -hmm. So these notes are from an online form from a consumer. They've lodged that on our website. Yes. Okay. 
Um, so in the actions window down the bottom of the program, we have assess new matter, and we have down here, as you can see, outgoing call. Mm -hmm. So this is the area that we're going to be using here, okay? Yeah. This is our second option. Mm -hmm. So do you want to click on there? Yeah, right. so if we open that. That's right. Uh, so if we go, is it that one? That's the one, yeah. outgoing call. So you so click on that. Click on that one. And there you go. Okay, so now that we're calling the consumer, what we need to do is identify ourselves, okay? Yeah. So we need to ask the consumer to make sure we're dealing with the right person mm -hmm. um, for their full name, first and surname, mm -hmm. their phone number, full address, mm -hmm. email if they have one, yeah. uh, the provider or telco's name, and the TIO reference number. Now, a lot of people, have, they should have this number because they, um, when they lodge the online form, we send them an email confirmation mm -hmm. yes. with that in it. A lot of people don't keep it or remember As a record. But if we can at least get three points of ID out of this, yep. that's enough for us. Now, if the consumer states they're not the account holder, mm -hmm. we can't discuss the complaint with them due to privacy. Okay issues so what we do we just say um, we let them know we can't discuss the complaint mm -hmm. even if they say yeah I know what the complaints mm -hmm. about or I'm the husband or wife yeah so what you say what I'll do is I'll send an email to the account holder mm -hmm. and I'll send them the questions that I need responded to okay. you can also explain to them that if the account holder does want their a representative mm -hmm. to be able to speak to us yeah we can send them a third party authorization form that they sign and they nominate that person. Okay? So. so you identify that you are from the telecommunications industry ombudsman. You state your name, ask if it is a good time to discuss the complaint. Because it might be convenient for the consumer at this point in time. Yeah. Okay? So it's also as I said, it's polite to ask the consumer if this is a good time. If not, ask for a more suitable time to call back. They'll often give you a guideline. It might be an hour. Sometimes it might be the next day if they're, um, you know, if they don't have time to to discuss the complaint. Mm -hmm. We state the reason for the call that the TIO, TIO needs further information. We have received your correspondence but was unclear about, and this is where you've already prepared the questions, mm -hmm. like you wouldn't have written information request. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So you would have the questions. What you can do is type the questions into the call log yeah. and then leave a space to type your answers in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That way you don't have to flip between different programs or windows. You can just do the whole conversation and type it in to the call log. Yeah. Right. So you've got that up at the moment? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's fine. I've got right. that. Good. So I'm just putting in the notes um, basically that do I put down um, that I've verified the consumer as well? Yeah. or? So the, the first uh, thing to write generally would be outbound call to the consumer mm -hmm. and then three points of ID confirmed. Yep. Okay. And then say call the consumer to clarify or yep. obtain further information and, and then write we'll... your questions underneath them okay. in dot point form. Yep. So, so let's just say you've you obtain the information that was required. Mm -hmm. And the reason being is so now you can make an informed Okay. So outgoing call to the consumer. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to note that mm -hmm. um, up the top so that someone knows that mm -hmm. you've tried to call the consumer. Mm -hmm. um, we would normally put rather than ID check, three points of ID because yep. that's really important. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've stated in plain English the consumer said, mm -hmm. and the account number is, the disputed charges are, and it's really important to note what the amount of the disputed charges are mm -hmm. because if we don't 
put that in the body of the complaint when we refer the complaint to the provider, mm -hmm. they may disconnect or bar the consumer's services if they're okay. disputing yep. those charges. So it's really important we clarify what that amount is. Mm -hmm. yep. um, the, and then the resolution. The consumer stated they want the charges to be waived. Now we don't know if the charges are legitimate or not. Mm -hmm. So we take it in good faith what they're telling us. It's only until we've sent the complaint to the provider, if they come back to us and say, hey, no, these charges are valid, and they can show us evidence mm -hmm. that the consumers use the service, then, we can then the um, that's the response. We would have to go back to the, uh, to the consumer, yeah. and we will always go on the evidence provided. Um, You've noted in here, updated complaint, um, we can also call it case notes, you log a referral. So you decided to classify this as a referral because uh, it's a telco complaint, it's within our jurisdiction and the resolution is fair and reasonable and there's a grievance. The mm -hmm. consumer has a grievance, that's what we're looking for. Okay. We then sent a referral email to the consumer mm -hmm. and Going through the system as you do with an online form, you will send the email to the consumer to give them the 10 to stay time frame and confirm their reference number, but you'll also send one to the provider as well. Mm -hmm. okay? And they, they know then they've got 10 business days to contact the consumer yep. to resolve the complaint. Yeah. So let's just see how you're going with Yes, so I've already written down that I made an outgoing call to the consumer to yep. discuss and obtain account number and address. Excellent. I've put the ID has been checked and then I've put down consumer provided, contact details, mm -hmm. complaint information, advice consumer will email referral yep. forms, etc. Okay, so what, what's really important as mm -hmm. well is that you confirm that there's $100 mm -hmm. in dispute. Yep. So I'll put that underneath. Yep. Disputed charges. That's it. Yep. And let's let's close that. Yep. yep. Uh, of one and of one hundred dollars. Yeah. So it's important that we specify what the amount is. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because then it could go for the letter. And yep. then what I would advise there, if you do a couple of enters, yeah, just put a heading, mm -hmm. TIO information or information yep. provided by the TIO. Yep. Just so it absolutely clarifies. That's a separate section. Yeah. Yep. That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So from here you can now save the call log. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, if you use that quick reference guide for at least the first couple of days, mm -hmm. it helps you get into a pattern yeah. um, of, of how you, uh, of the steps you need to take. Mm -hmm. And if you get that ingrained yep. or embedded in in your Structure. thinking, yep. and also physically, it's really important mm -hmm. that when you, especially when you're using a computer, mm -hmm. that you get used to clicking in mm -hmm. the right places, following the right steps, and that helps you retain that information. Mm -hmm. So then it becomes second nature, and that's what we're trying to do with with any of our training or coaching. Mm -hmm. We're trying to embed good habits in. Yeah. And that way you don't have to think about what you're doing, you just know exactly. It becomes second nature That's of correct. opening up a call log. Yeah. And will we be using call logs like this later on as well? Or? Yes, yes. Okay. So what we'll do, um, the next session. when we go back out on the floor, mm -hmm. um, you'll be going back to processing online forms. Yeah. However, if you come across a complaint mm -hmm. that you would normally send an information request because we need further information, you can speak to me and what we'll do is mm -hmm. we'll set the call log up, mm -hmm. the questions you need to ask, and then you can call the consumer. Okay. okay? Right. And, and once you've done that two or three times, it becomes second yeah. nature. Yes. So, okay. okay. Yeah. Do you have any questions around that? No, thank you. That's all right. Good. We'll just try it out. We'll go out there and give it a go. All right. Excellent. All yeah. right. Thank Thanks you. for your time today. Thank you.